My name is Risa Inagaki. I'm a 20-year-old college student. My family is absolutely insane. First, let me tell you about my spoiled two-year older sister, Miyu. She was prioritized in pretty much every aspect of life. I was usually left alone and honestly don't feel loved at all. The reason they're treating us so differently is simply because she's the eldest sister. My family is pretty old styled, so the eldest son will take over the business. However, since we don't have any sons, the eldest sister's husband is destined to take over the company. Because of this old fashioned thinking, there's a huge gap between how we're treated. She's already a senior in college, but she's essentially set to only go out and find a husband and not a job. I'm already being forced to work in accounting at my parents' company, for free too. As you can imagine, this leads to our family not being entirely fair. Hey, I can't find my favorite skirt. You told me to take it out to the laundromat yourself. Did I? You did. But I need it right now. It should be done in about two hours. Great, pick it up and leave it in my room. I can't. Why not? I'm at school right now. I'll be at a lecture in two hours. They won't care if you take off for a day. This won't be the first time. I've already taken off a few times for your favors. I'm falling behind, so I need to go. Then what should I do? Go pick it up. The store is only five minutes on foot. I'm too lazy. You go pick it up. Let me at least get to the lecture. I'll pick it up later this afternoon. No, I need it because I'm going out tonight. Can you just choose another outfit today? You basically have an entire wardrobe. No, I need that coat today. Just go. I'm going to tell dad. Fine. And this is how I live my life, taking orders from my sister. I can't do anything because my father will make my life miserable. My dream is to graduate and get a good job to leave this house. So I need to calm down and deal with it until then. Two years later, something shocking happens. My father and mother had a child, and it was a son to add to that. Our family was partying with how happy they were. We had a party for Kazia, the child. However, then some people had issues. Hey, where are you, sis? It's none of your business, is it? You have to take care of Kazuya at home. Oh yeah, um, you look after him. That kind of stuff is your job anyways. I'm sick, so I'm being told to stay away from him. When I came back from the hospital, no one was home. I had to go do something. Kazuya isn't even one. What are you going to do if something happens while you're gone? Nothing will happen. Calm down. You don't know that, he could die. What is your problem? Everyone's just talking about Kazuya. He's the eldest son, what's so special? Yeah, I don't know if you can say anything. Huh, what do you mean? Nothing. Anyway, that kid is not my responsibility. I have to find someone to get married to. I don't think you need to rush that much. They found an heir already. You don't need to find someone to take over the job. Shut up! My husband will take over things! That's not up to you. Shut up! I will never accept that! It's been two years after my sister graduated, and she hasn't even found someone to marry yet. She's apparently being too picky. That was okay before, but now that Kazuya arrived, she's in big trouble. My mom and dad are both only thinking about Kazuya. My sister is pretty much just floating around aimlessly, and she doesn't receive the support she did before to find someone to get married to. I guess it's still a lot better than a live-in employee like I was being forced to be. However, I was planning on graduating soon. I'd been working extra hard to find somewhere to work when my father Taichi had to talk to me. Do you have a second? What? I hear you're job hunting right now. Yes, I am. What do you want me to do about my opening position in accounting? We should work on handing over soon or we'll have some problems. About that, you should work for me. You must be kidding. I'm not joking at all. You already know how our accounting works. I have no need to hire a new person, so I'm counting on you from now on too. I'll bite. How are the benefits? I'm telling you, I'll hire you! Don't be a brat! Just tell me, then we can talk. You'll be making $1,400 a month. 
No way. In other words, you want to continue to underpay me. I'll let you live at the house. That should be enough. No, I don't want to. Honestly, I would for 100k a year, though. I'm ordering you. I refuse. Okay, then you leave as soon as you graduate. I will not let you set foot on our property ever again. That's exactly what I intended to do. I left the house as soon as I graduated. I had no remorse as I never intended to go back. Luckily, I had been working hard to be independent since high school, so I found a good place to work. I was incredibly happy to be released from that family. I was enjoying the single life. However, I was worried about my younger brother that was left there. I feel bad for him surrounded by those people. Three years after I started working, my sister contacted me out of the blue. Please help me! Huh? What's going on? I got chased out of the house! You? What did you do? Nothing big, I just hit Kazuya. Yeah, that's a big oops. It's your fault anyway! How can that possibly be my fault? I got put in charge of taking care of him because you left me of all people babysitting! Wait, you're not married yet? It's not my fault! There's no one that's good enough for me! It's because you say stuff like that you can't find anyone. Shut up! If you hadn't left, I never would have had this problem! That's completely wrong! Why did you hate Kazuya? He's selfish! He thinks it's all his way! He treats me like a maid! Sounds like he learned from you. You were the same way towards me, remember? Shut up! This is all your fault! What do you want me to do? Find a place for me to live and pay for me? No, I'm good. Then I blocked and deleted her. I could never look after that selfish sister. I don't know what happened afterwards, but I'd guess she's struggling. I don't think she'll find a regular job. I also don't feel bad for her, but she's technically a victim too. It's our parents' fault at the end of the day. I had plenty of complaints, but I decided to let the people whom I had left to take the reins. Hey, Dad? What do you want? I'm not letting you come back to the house. You're not family anymore. That's not what I was going to say. I just wanted to say goodbye to you. Huh? What are you talking about? Are you going abroad? No, I'm not going. You are. What are you talking about? If you're joking, stop. 1.6 billion dollars. Do you know what this number means? I have nothing else to talk about! The amount of money that your company has evaded from taxes. This is a bad joke. This isn't a joke. I was surprised when I figured it out. Enough! You don't have any proof! I worked in accounting. I saw where the money went. I thought it was weird at first, but then it made sense. You shouldn't have underestimated me because I was a student. I had a lot of information stored too. Are you serious? If you show that, we're done! Mom and I would be in so much trouble! You just said we're not family. What about your brother? Think of him! You don't feel bad? He's why I didn't say anything. But I felt worse about him being raised by people like you. And just like that, the family company was brought to an end by whistleblowers. My father was arrested, and my mother was admitted to a hospital from shock. Kazuya was taken in by relatives. I think they're pretty normal. I really hope that Kazuya grows up to be a decent adult.